Good morning, this is Woodblock Printmaker Dave Bull here in our shop in Asakusa, Tokyo with a quick year-end update on our activities. The cards and letter, well, emails anyway, have been pouring in asking when our next YouTube video will be ready. Now we've actually got a number of videos started, but this past autumn has been just so crazy here that we have been unable to get them finished. So many fans of our work have come through the door, some for print parties, some for shopping, and some just to stop by and say hello and take a selfie together. It's been a ton of fun for me and the crew here, but it has been kind of exhausting, and it certainly didn't leave much time for anything else. With the result now that it's been, I guess, what is it, four months since our previous video. But what goes up must come down, and that flood of autumn visitors has now tapered off. And over the next few months, until spring arrives, we'll have time to try and get caught up on many overlooked projects. Of course, among them, the production of a bunch of new videos. For right now, though, here and now, I need an update. And that's what this video will be about. A mixed bag of news and updates. I've got a long, long checklist of things to talk about. Let's get to it. First up has to be the announcement of the subscription series for 2020. The viewers of the Twitch stream already know what it will be because they've seen me working on the blocks for the first print, and I've even been getting their feedback on such things as the series title and questions about which scenes to include. The series will have its roots in the set of prints we've just completed, the Japan Journey. This is the first print from the 2019 series. This was a set of designs we created following the style generally known as Shin Hanga, the genre that first came to life in Japan just about a hundred years ago, in the first half of the 20th century. The Japanese landscape was the main topic of those prints, and they have been loved ever since. Now, Shin Hanga prints are stunningly complex to create, much more difficult than the more straightforward ukiyo-e, but we gave it a try. And I think our team, right from Jed San putting down his first sketches, through the carving and printing, down to the finished prints coming off the benches, I think the team pulled it off very well. Now the result of our year-long efforts... Do I do this without dropping everything on the floor? The result of our year-long efforts is this. Twelve brand new Shin Hunger prints, on time, on budget, and now living in collections all over the world. Almost right from the first announcement a year ago, this set was fully subscribed. Three of our printers combined to create an initial run of about 200 sheets of each image, but that was nowhere near enough to cover the demand, and we have been holding a waiting list of people who want to get these ever since. With another printer now joining our team, more about that in a minute or so, we have now begun to pull more prints and are taking subscription orders for this set once again. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. Everybody wants to know what's next. Where do we go from here? Well, it's push forward, you know. Push forward. We have a lot more practice, a lot more learning to do. There is no way we are going to back away from this concept now. So for the coming year, Jed San and the team here are going to continue to work in the Shin Hunger genre. For 2020, we are going to make another set of the same format, the same dimensions, and basically we're going to remain within the same restrictions as to the number of blocks and colors. So is it to be Japan Journey Volume 2? No. We might do something like that at some point in the future, but this time around, we're going to mix it up a little. Rather than a journey this time, we're going to make a kind of pilgrimage. Where to? Well, if I show you a few of the upcoming designs, you should, I think, be able to catch the theme. The first print in the set is now ready. This is one of the sheets fresh from Sugasan's bench upstairs. As you can see, it is a view of a quite well-known old Ryokan building with a red lacquered bridge in front. Might this place seem a tad familiar? Now, the next few are, of course, not finished yet. We are still carving them. But I have some Photoshop mock-ups from Jetsa. Where have you seen the steep hills of this Tokyo suburb? And what does this European landscape, seen from the air, remind you of? I think that most of you can see the thread here. 
We are location hunting. Over the next 12 months, this new set of beautiful prints will echo places that provided the inspiration for scenes in much-loved animated films. It's kind of a woodblock pilgrimage. Now, most of the 12 prints will indeed be set in Japan, but because the animators took a wider worldview of their settings, we will do the same. And as you've just seen, some of the designs take a more international approach. I mentioned that I've been talking about this new series on the Twitch stream, and conversations there and in the shop where we've teased some of these have made me realize that this new series is going to be in heavy demand. The sign-up page is open right now at the URL you see here. And I will, of course, also put that link on the video information page. We very much hope you will find this project interesting. Our printers upstairs have mixed feelings about these new prints we've been making, you know. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, Shinaga prints are a ton more work than the Ukiyo-e style work we've been making over the past years. They take much more time per sheet, simply because of the many color overlays. But the ladies also have to admit they are learning new skills. And we are all working together here to develop a kind of a company skill set that will allow us to publish larger and more elaborate prints of this type in the future. More on that in a couple of minutes. Anyway, as I mentioned, the sign-up page is now open. We are standing by to send you a wonderful set of prints over the coming 12 months. I should also add something here for people watching this video in the future. All of our subscription series stay available indefinitely. If you're watching this video in the future, in 2021 or 25 or anything, you should still be able to get these prints from us, including that set, for example, that you just saw. Check the website always for current availability. What's the next news segment? How many of you remember this lady? These video clips date back a few years. I think perhaps the earliest video that she appeared in for us was uh, back in November 2012. It's a full seven years ago. This was Ayumi Miyashita, who is now Ayumi Ohashi. She was doing wonderful work for us up until around two and a half years ago, when she came to me one day with the news that she was becoming a mother and would thus be leaving the workshop. Not my choice, her choice. <laughs> We were all very saddened by it. I say we were saddened by that news. She wasn't saddened by that news. We were all saddened by that news. But this was tempered by the knowledge that at some point in the future, she would be returning. Well, here we are. We are now at some point, and Ayumi-san is back with us upstairs. It's because of her grandmother and a local daycare center. They're helping to care for young Haruka-chan, and Ayumi-san is now ready to get back in the saddle. She can't work here full-time yet, but anything she can do for us will be a tremendous help. Her initial project, actually I mentioned it a minute ago, she's starting to work on another batch of prints from the blocks for last year's journey series to help us chew away at that long waiting list. And we have many, many wood blocks sleeping here just waiting to be brought back into action. She's really going to be a big help with that. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Here she is. We are very, very glad to have her back with us. <laughs> Here's a bit of video taken from one of the live streams we run on the Twitch platform. These days, I usually stream three days a week with a 90-minute session, usually showing the current work on my carving bench. The block you see me working on here is the initial print in the Eight Views of Cats series, the Neko Hake, that we introduced this past summer. I've been very lax in keeping people updated on the progress of that project. Have I ever been lax on that? Here's a little bullet point list, PowerPoint, of where it all stands. <laughs> the Evening Snow, the first print, and Night Rain, the second print. They are in production, up and running. This series is really happening. As I said, I myself am carving the initial print, and our young carver, Chun San, who came to us from Hong Kong a few years ago, he's already begun the next one. 
Stage two submissions. I know there's 13 people I have now asked to move to stage two and seven of them have completed those submissions for me and they've been paid for that. These are people who we'll be choosing the next group of prints from. Overall, we've now got 1,200 plus applications from people all over the world. Many, many have been interesting. Of course, there's some that are less so. But even though there's lots of good ones in there, I am still going to need more source material from which to select a total of eight killer designs. Now, for the first two themes, the evening snow and night rain, there's no point to send any more submissions for those because they're now closed. We're carving. But for all the other six themes, I am still open for suggestions. If you have an interest in this, please visit the 8 Views website listed in the documentation for this video, read up on the project, and please consider sending in your design ideas. The timetable this is happening on. The original idea was to select all eight designs during the course of last summer and then start the production on them one by one by one. But it turned out that that whole concept wasn't practical to do it that way. So we've switched to a system where we're selecting one by one as we go through the project. As I said, the first two are selected. And once carving on this number one gets near the end, I'll be selecting number three and so on. So we'll still be choosing designs even as the initial prints are already in the shop and out in the market. Subscriptions. There's a ton of confusion about this because we have so many subscription prints. A lot of people have assumed that the CAT series is also going to be a subscription set. As I proposed back at the beginning, this will not be such a thing. It'll just be a themed group of prints in our catalog, like the, the Ukiyo Heroes prints we have, the rickshaw cart and the fox moon, those. Uh, there might be people who end up getting all of them, and perhaps after it's all done, a year from now or whatever, we might package it as a subscription series, I guess. But the whole concept is simply prints one by one by one. So don't worry, you're not going to have to buy them all. Please check the update page on the 8Cats website to get a peek at the designs in stage two and then follow along over the next year or so as this thing gradually comes together. It's going to be a killer set of prints once they're all done. This is a photo that we put on our Instagram page a few weeks back. And in this single image, you can see one of the main reasons for my lack of video production here recently. Paperwork. Papers, papers, and more papers. <laughs> now I knew that the step of becoming a real company would involve a lot of extra paperwork, but get serious. I can't say it's been a nightmare, because that, that would be an exaggeration. But yes, this has been a huge distraction for us. We're not out of the woods yet, because sometime over the next couple of weeks, we have to take inventory here for the very first time. And that means counting every single sheet of washi paper, every print in every stack, every piece of wood, every packet of pigments. And over in Ome, I've got a four-story building crammed with stuff built up over 30, 30 more years of printmaking activity. So why are we taking this step of incorporating now? It goes back a couple of years to this clip from a video I made in the spring of 2017, showing our business situation at the close of the previous year. Here's a printout of the chart you saw in that video. I was in trouble. Our Asakusa shop, the purple part of this video, was kind of growing quite well. But because of my work here in the shop, I was ignoring all other important parts of our business. They were decreasing, everything was decreasing, and we were slumping. And overall, the workload was killing me. Now, a group of fans from the Netherlands came over, guys who had actually visited previously and got to know me. And uh, they came over to Japan shortly before I made that video. And they cornered me in a bar one night. I mean, literally, they jammed me into a corner in the bar there where I couldn't move and couldn't get out. They put some beers on the table, and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> it turned out they were worried about me. They wanted to help. How best could they do that? They even made suggestions like, Dave, if you had like a pile of money in the table here, how would that help you get out of this, you know, jam you're in? I didn't take any money from them, but spurred by the discussion that evening and realizing that if I was able to clearly outline a way that people could, could help this project move forward, a lot of people would be happy to do so. So given the experience of those guys cornering me that night, I, two years ago, I went out to Patreon and I reached out for assistance in providing funding for me to hire someone to take over the bulk of my office type work. Now the community responded instantly. Based on that, I started a search and as a regular view of our streams and videos know, that's where Cameron came from. 
he grabbed the office computer away from me, took it for his own, and completely and totally took over the order processing, the subscription processing, the rotation with our shipping center in Olme, and all the communications with collectors and customers. Did it help? Well, here we are, two years later, coming up to the end of 2019. Did the Patreon support, did it help? <laughs> For reference here, these colors, the green are our online orders through the website shopping cart. The red segments here are the Ukiwe Heroes prints, you know, the rickshaw cart, Fox Moon, Disco. The yellow here, growing substantially over the past few years, is subscriptions. And the purple, of course, is the Asakusa shop, also growing steadily. And here at the top, this quite large group is the revenue from the Patreon contribution, still making up an important part of our overall revenue. Now, during the time that our business volume has been growing like this over these past couple of years, Cameron has begun to be paid from our general revenue. So what I've done is I'm reallocating the Patreon income for a different purpose. We still have no access to financing here to support anything that doesn't contribute immediately to income. We can't get bank loans or, or capital or anything. So we are using the Patreon funding now for a more long-term project to help rebuild the broken supply chain for the materials we need for our work. Here's some photographs. We now have nearly 100 kilograms of inventory in our Mulberry Savings Bank, stored up on the third floor of our workshop. And look at this, four massive chunks from a Yamazakura tree, a Japanese mountain cherry, that we just purchased, and which we will now begin to transform into carving blocks, a process that will take three to four years at the very least. Now, these kinds of expensive and long-term investments are very difficult to make from our general revenue, so the ongoing Patreon support is making a very big difference here, helping us to secure a more stable future. As to the question of why I have made this move to become a registered company this month, I think it is obvious. We now have more than 30 people working here, and at that level of employment, we are required to set up health insurance plans, pension contributions, workplace insurance, and you name it in an endless list of monthly forms to fill out and monthly payments to make. I guess all in all, perhaps what this really means is we have arrived, you know, a bunch of people now are making a living here. They're getting married, they're having babies. Not sure how much I should speak about this in public, but even right now as I'm making this, we have four staff members or family members who are busy making babies. You know, I mean, I mean, having babies. And at the other end of it, the production. Month after month after month, we are sending out a steady stream of prints to new homes everywhere. Old prints, new prints, reproductions, originals. We are making a difference, bringing pleasure to people all over the world and having a ton of fun doing so. We're working as hard as we can, but none of this would be possible without the support from our fans, friends, customers, everybody out there. Thank you very much. I have no idea where we're going from here. I mean, growth like this, this is obviously not sustainable. What happens next? I have no idea. But anyway, we'll see. Okay, to finish off, just one more thing. A few minutes ago, when I was talking about Ayumi-san coming back to work, I mentioned that there were a lot of carved wood blocks sleeping here, waiting to be printed. This is just a portion of them. We've got stacks of them upstairs that are all ready to go, but we just have not had enough printers on hand to get the work done. Let's just take a look at a few of these. This stack, it's a huge stack. This is actually the blocks for the Hanami Cats design from Jet. When I speak of cats, don't confuse this with the eight views of cats series that we're doing. This is a separate series that Jed conceived. Jed and I, I can't remember who started the idea. Anyway, about a year ago we started this project. These are Photoshop mock-ups because we have no prints yet. These are the Hanami cats and the ramen cats. And the first one I think that we came up with was the sushi cats design. Well, as I said, the blocks are all waiting here. We've had no chance to make additions. But Speaking of this Sushi Cats, I got a package from one of our outside printers, Chiharu-san, up in Nagano. 
A couple of weeks ago, we were talking about the year-end job planning, and she had it turned out three or four days extra at the end of the year. Not enough time to do a main real run of prints, but enough time to do some extra work. I thought she could do some proofing for me. So I sent her the block set for the Sushi Cats print. And here it came. Look at this. Now this is actually not totally finished. There's going to be a gold embossed pattern on the kimono in the final version, but I think you can get the idea here. She has done a killer job. The wood grain, you probably can't see it on the distance here. The wood grain is all embossed. There's gradations under the counter and around everywhere. And look how well she caught the translucency of that smoked glass on the counter. What a beautiful, beautiful production. I tell you, there hasn't been work of this complexity and quality published anywhere for years, for decades. Jihana-san, she'll be making the first batch for sale sometime in the new year into the early spring. Once they're ready, Cameron will be letting everybody know through the usual routes, our Instagram, Facebook, on the blog. You know about it. Then there's more, you know, this other stack here. You probably can't see it because they're also dark here. Jed-san and I, about a half a year ago, we came up with the idea for another new series. We were learning about the shin hanga things from our subscription prints. We want to use that knowledge in larger prints. So here's a Photoshop mock-up. He came up with an idea. He, he was up there, a Chuban group of uh, people dancing over at Zenkoji Temple. The Photoshop mock-up, the blocks are ready, and it's just waiting for one of our printers to find time. Blocks, blocks, another block set over here. What's this? Ah, yes, an octopus and a lady. 99.99% carved, just waiting for printing. Ain't we got fun? <laughs> That's enough for now. I'll see you next time, early in the new year, with our next real video. Thanks for watching, and good night for now.